everybody, my name is Shauna Astell and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so for today we're going to do a very quick fire video, quick fire Q&A, some of the questions that I was asked a few days ago now um, on all of my Instagram platforms so if you want to go over to follow any of my Instagrams um, pick whichever one is going to be more valuable to you they are going to be linked below and they're also going to be in my um, kind of cover photo on my YouTube channel you'll see the links that you can actually click on as well but just go down below for ease. But the first question is when do you finish your masters so i have just under a month left um the timetables are a little bit different um it was like our ending sort of thing last monday but then we're in next week for our half an hour movement solos so performances and interview about that and tech run and everything and then we've got a few other bits to hand in as well throughout the weeks after that but i think we've got about three weeks until I have to hand a 5,000 word essay in and then I am done. So the 24th of July, actually I'm dyslexic. So the 24th of July is when everything should technically be handed in and everything. But then I have a week extension on my 5,000 word essay. So technically the week after the 24th of July is when I finish and hopefully pass everything. Woohoo! Um, so the second question is just about like dealing with failures, dealing with rejection, etc, etc. So dealing with failures, I used to really try and avoid failing, um, but then I was never pushing the boundaries. I was never really exceeding my expectations and I'd always set my expectations low because I didn't want to fail in front of people um, and look silly and get laughed at and all of that annoying stuff those annoying feelings but um what I would say now my my piece of advice my way of switching the mindset is is failing really failing like for example I got into a stage school before I went into my undergraduate degree for dance I got into a stage school well I got into two actually but the main one that I wanted to go to um there wasn't government funding and I didn't do my research before I couldn't afford to go um, I had probably three months before I would have to start so I had to it was more than a house sort of mortgage like my parent my mom my granddad and my nana they'd all have had to like remortgage the house um, and then also I'd be needing to earn money to live down in London and um, because you wouldn't get any grants either so yeah I saw that as a failure I could have taken that as I'm not meant to dance I honestly went through such a low patch during that time um, but then it led me to my undergraduate degree. So turning that failure around, I managed to have a gap year, earn some money because I wanted to do the um, stage school. But I didn't end up doing the stage school. I ended up going to Creative Academy, which is an accredited university course for dance. They train you. You're, you're honestly in intense training um, that first day. After that, my, my body, everyone's body, we felt like we'd been hit by a bus. Like, honestly, it's so intense. It's like a stage school, but it's credited. You do have to do essays, but it's nothing compared to the essays that I've been doing this past two years. I honestly got the shock of my life. Um, but yeah, if I hadn't have gone on to that university degree, I wouldn't have probably got the contracts that I got afterwards. I wouldn't have met the people. I made friends for life there made friends for life in some of the contracts as well that I did after um, but also I wouldn't have got onto this master's degree course and everything is what I've meant to have done in my past and they keep like recirculating and there's no like one straight direct path which I actually like um, I'm able to dabble into bits more dabble into bits less and just feel a little bit more free because I have the I usually feel stuck quite easily and this is going to prevent me from feeling stuck because um, I have more opportunities um, come my way. But yes, all I would say is failures, just look at them as it's it's an opportunity for you to learn and grow. And then same with rejection, especially if you're like in the performing arts industry or any any 
other way that you've had rejection in your life it's redirection that ex but that that boyfriend or that girlfriend that you could have had but they said no did they lead you to your husband your wife your kids your family um that house that you wanted to buy but you couldn't did it lead you to a better location because you had the space to be able to look around more and you didn't rush into it or same with dancing if you didn't get the audition you, you went to other classes probably and tried to better yourself and then you got onto that contract that you never thought that you'd be on at that moment in time um and it's actually worked out better rejection is redirection i'm trying to keep these videos short so uh if you want more on this topic i could do a whole video please do let me know if you're happy with that answer then good luck you've got this rejection is redirection and failures is an opportunity to grow learn and develop in whatever you want to exceed in i've also got one on how am i feeling so thank you for asking um people that have followed all of my journey that have been there from like college university maybe school as well like it's it's you that have actually reached out and said how am i feeling so i really do appreciate it i know we might not talk a lot or live near each other or anything like that but you all have a special place in my heart and thank you for caring about me but um it's funny because this master's degree course so dance movement psychotherapy um it's it sounds contradictory in a way because I'm with what I'm about to say. So throughout these two years, we've had an experiential, so group experiential session. So that's a chance to look into group dynamics, um, but also look into yourself and how you're feeling and checking in with yourself. Do you need self-care? Are you feeling anxious? Where is it sitting in your body? How can we kind of move through it all of that stuff which is amazing it's amazing for the body the mind the emotional side everything um but then also i've had to have well every week a therapy session but the past couple of the past month or two i've had to have three hours of therapy to catch up because we have to do a certain amount of hours um so again i chose talk therapy because I guess I was suppressing using my voice that's came up in therapy and um, although movement helps I've got the movement at university I can bring the movement home and everything but actually having someone listen to you and not that I need it anymore but at first I needed someone to validate all of my concerns and how I felt about certain things and situations when I thought I was just being selfish or a horrible person and things and really I wasn't I was just so used to giving rather than giving some and taking some back accepting some back um in a healthy way but yeah um I chose talk therapy because of that and again so much has come up from that button phobia which is another question um rejection in the dance industry like kind of trigger warning eating disorders and unhealthy relationship with food and giving 100 percent to everyone and nothing back to myself and yeah just so much has come up in university during my readings in certain modules during placement reflecting and also focusing on now and being present in therapy and I just feel like it's a lot to take in. These past two years, I feel like I need to take the whole of August off <laughs> and process everything because everything's so quick paced. It's a full time course. I've also been working alongside with online clients with the odd extra work, um, as much dance work as I can do. And I've not really given myself time to just sit. And even when I have, when I've done yoga and I've tried to move slower, because that was a challenge in therapy, I needed to pause, slow down, not go from A to B as quick as I can um, because of time. Like that's another thing. I've always been in a rush with time, even before this course. Um, those who know, know. But um, yeah, I feel like I need the whole of August off or maybe even longer to just process everything. And really sit with my core values and what I need to happen next and put myself first and establish my boundaries and have solid boundaries before going into dance movement psychotherapy with clients and 
other facilities as well because we can't be self-employed straight away we've got to do 200 hours and doing all of the sort of write-ups about clients and stuff and it's a lot of pressure like it, it really is a lot of pressure which I knew but I just feel like I almost need a gap year but whether I can whether it's doable I don't know um, but feeling wise I don't really know I'm just in the mindset of let's get these few weeks out of the way and then I can do nothing and I can really process how I'm feeling I am going to go back to therapy um, in August I'm um, probably halfway through August just for monthly sessions because I think it's really good for personal development when I am busy and rushing about it's my time to kind of sit with exactly what's going on in that present moment and last thing I'm going to say about that I might do a whole different video on this as well so feel free to kind of if you want to catch up like a full-on intense catch up with me um, about like the next steps or how I'm feeling right now then feel free to comment that down below as well um, but yeah I definitely oh we're at 10 minutes already <laughs> act up for England I'm definitely going to do monthly sessions just to kind of focus on what's come up recently and all it is the button phobia and stuff like I'm exploring that still but also being present living life enjoying life not worrying about the income not worrying about other people's expectations including family's expectations literally giving people the responsibilities that I've taken off of them back obviously I have certain responsibilities like keeping relationships going and but that's like a two-way responsibility as well and then like making sure my dog is okay and supported and loved and he's the happiest he can be and healthiest he can be like that's always going to be a responsibility um but just minimizing them for a little bit because it's been tough it's been intense yeah I am excited for what's to come and that is another question what's next and like I say I'm just going to take August off sit with it Whatever opportunities come in August, I'm going to take it, but I'm not going to be forcing things. I feel like that's all I've been trying to do recently, the past two years, force things. And it's not it's not great sometimes. Um, sometimes it's right to do that, I guess. But I feel like what's meant to be will come my way. And last question is button phobia, question mark. So I have had a lot of interest on my button phobia. Um, I'm very interested. I'm learning new things. But what I will say is, if you follow my TikTok, which again will be linked below, or my personal Instagram, it'll be linked below. Um, but I've done a reel, but I also am thinking about doing a really in-depth talk about what I've learned about my button phobia and any other questions maybe that you may have. Again, pop them down below. Um, and yeah i will um address all of those if you have any certain questions i'll address the the significance and the learnings that i have learned so far um and yeah other than that i think i'll leave the video there because i hope it didn't seem rushed because i am trying to stay under the 10 minute mark which is not working but um yeah, it was nice to kind of deload and I'm about to go to the studio now, which is why I got some makeup on because I feel like a zombie and that's why I need all the stuff um, and to just do the less, put the, a pin in tent stuff. That is what's next. Um, but yes, I will potentially do a button phobia video. I will potentially do dealing with failures and rejection video. Just let me know if you want it. Give me a thumbs up if you want it. If you don't want it, I understand there's no judgment here <laughs> um but yes if you did like this video and want more in-depth conversations on those two topics or three topics then give it a thumbs up and if you just liked it in general give it a thumbs up um comment down below any questions you may have on anything that I've said or anything that you're just curious about in general it doesn't even need to be about me um not that I know all of the answers to everything I definitely don't um and yeah, subscribe if you aren't already and you kind of are liking the way these videos are going. Short videos, 10 to 15 minutes, let's say now. Um, and yeah, let me know what other content you would like to see. And if I can do it, I will do it. Also, ignore all this rubbish. Oh, you've got me stilts there. Yeah, basically, there's not enough room in this house. Um, and Kobe is just getting bigger and bigger. 
I've also taken on the stilts so yeah it's all good stuff but have a lovely week and I will see you next time for a brand new video